you guys have been wanting to know how I have my girlfriend's Xiaomi Mi 9 set up, the ROM, kernel, etc. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead, jump into it. Hey, my name is Mitchell. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about the tech I use. And I wanna go ahead and thank everyone that uses my affiliate links without your support, wouldn't keep me going. Link to all that stuff in the description down below. Also, Telegram community, I love you guys. If you're not part of my Telegram community, we exchange everything from APKs to information about Xiaomi, Android stuff. Also, uh, if you guys don't listen to the Mitchell Millennial Podcast, I have a link to all that stuff. Enough self-promotion, let's hop into this. Now, real quick, I want you guys to understand that this is not my daily driver phone. This is my girlfriend's phone. So I think that this is a good analogy or a good case study for, could you give a non-Android enthusiast a phone that you have modified in some way, shape, or form, um, and what their experience has been with it. Because ultimately, when I'm setting up my girlfriend's phone for her to use, she's coming from an iPhone, she likes tech, she's not a technophile, I need a phone that's stable, that performs well, that's going to be as capable as the device was stock, but improve on the experience as much as I can. So keep that in mind, and let's go hop into the phone tool. So here we have a Xiaomi Mi 9, it's the 6128 China variant. We are running uh, Xiaomi EU 9.4.2.5. Uh, which is just kind of the newest one. Um, as you guys know, Xiaomi EU is based on the developer China beta. So everything is new and experimental, I guess you can say. Uh, here in the camera, we have some new features now. You can pinch to go to the wide angle and then start to zoom in. And now it will automatically switch to the different focal lengths. Or you can just do this. Uh, you can also do this in video, I believe. Pretty cool though that you can do this in video. I think that this is a feature that they're gonna be working on. Another really nice feature has been the ability to turn off the always on ambient fingerprint area light thing. Uh, as you can see, put the finger down, it senses it, it backlights it, it launches it. It's not always been that way. We'll go to lock screen, manage fingerprints. Now, as you can see, we have a toggle here for show fingerprint icon when screen is off. Now, before screen be off, the device gets moved, it shows you where to place your fingerprint. Now, screen is off. It doesn't wake the phone up. I'd be curious to see if this helps with standby battery drain. Uh, next up is the overall responsiveness. Super smooth, stutter free. Everything you open, instantaneously, you know, the connection that we have here um, isn't the fastest, but as you can see, the responsiveness for it is, is great. Um, and then pulling apps out of RAM is, is just lightning fast. Uh, Google lightning fast, everything really kind of about uh, about the user experience with this device running that Xiaomi EU ROM is absolutely awesome. The camera performance has gotten better. Uh, something that still kind of drives her and myself crazy about Xiaomi uh, MIUI is that we don't have lock screen notifications. Um, I would love to see lock screen notifications become a thing. I don't know if Xiaomi will end up doing this or not. Uh, but another thing to show you guys is how we have the device set up. We have almost all of the stock Xiaomi apps debloated and taken out. Uh, we don't have the stock Xiaomi calendar. We have Google calendar. Uh, we have the stock contacts app. Um, I can go ahead and debloat the clock app. We have an older version of Gcam on here. Uh, I'll probably end up updating Gcam to a newer version at some time, but she doesn't really use Gcam very much. So it doesn't really matter. Um, overall, one thing that I do want to point out with the Mi 9 
is that running the Xiaomi EU ROM, battery life has been really good. Uh, probably five and a half to six hours of screen on time uh, on like mixed Wi-Fi and data. And on top of that, the overall stability has been something that's been great. Now, I'm an Android enthusiast. I'm a MIUI enthusiast. My girlfriend is not a MIUI enthusiast. That means if there are issues, if there are hiccups, if there are problems with the software experience that she's having on her device, I hear them first. I have not heard any complaints. Uh, there was some issues like three weeks ago with the fingerprint scanner. When you went to use it, uh, the fingerprint scanner um, would not work when the phone was off. That has been fixed. Uh, you guys saw that it took a couple tries for me to get this on here. It's because we have a tempered glass screen protector on here. The tempered glass screen protector works great, um, but without the little animation, sometimes you won't get your fingerprint on it exactly. And also, if you have big fingers, it can sometimes act up a little bit. Overall, though, the experience has been really, really good. It's been really, really positive. My girlfriend is definitely kind of hooked on uh, Xiaomi value and Xiaomi devices. MIUI has been a great thing for her to experience Android through, especially coming from iOS. And as you guys see, we have Poco Launcher um, just to kind of clean up some of the icon explosion experience that you might get uh, with the stock launcher. So with all that said, I would t say that if you're looking to get a Xiaomi Mi 9, definitely plan on putting the Xiaomi EU ROM on it. Definitely run the Poco launcher just for the most stable, cleanest experience. Um, let's go ahead and bring this back up top. Okay, back up top. I hope you guys like that little phone tour, seeing what I've done to her phone. As you see, I keep it pretty simple, almost exactly what I've done to my Poco phone and my Mi Pad. Um, if you guys want me to do a separate video about why I choose this simple layout and stuff like that. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do a video like that. Till next time, it's Mitchell coming to you from Hanoi. If you wanna see videos about Hanoi, check out my other channel over here. Peace.